Have you ever tried to lose weight? Have you ever wanted to get into better shape? Have you ever wanted to look different? If you have, this video is for you. Hello love bugs, if you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more filling and loving and positive life through self mastery and spirituality. And today, we're gonna talk about how you can lose weight or really change your physical appearance in general using your mind. So as you guys know, on this channel, I'm learning and as I learn, I like to share what I'm learning with you to help maybe improve your life in one way or another. Over the last six months, I have been heavily studying the law of assumption and when i mean heavily i mean like literally for the most part every single day i've just been immersing myself into this information testing things out and i have found just some really incredible things i feel like i've finally started to break through and see results and losing weight has been what I've seen the most drastic change up. So I wanted to share with you guys exactly how to do that using your thoughts. Because in reality, the thing is, I will make another video, I mean, we'll make a lot of videos on the law of assumption as I start to get more results and get a more dialed in view of how it works for me so that I can help you guys with how to use this spiritual law. But I thought this one was pretty dang cool. If you're on this channel, you probably know that your thoughts create your reality. And we all live in a very different reality from one another. Like, you're watching this video and you're gonna perceive it differently than the next person that watches it. And you're gonna perceive it differently than how I do when I'm filming it. And that's based off of our thought world, our past experiences, what we believe to be true, our internal programming and so many other outside factors and internal factors that has shaped our lives. But the thing that's really cool about the law of assumption is it is a universal law. It's no different than the law of gravity. Like you can sit there and say, oh, I'm done with gravity. But like, you can't be done with gravity. It's a, it's, a, it's a universal law. And it's the same thing with the law of assumption and the fact that your thoughts create your reality. So it's really learning how to use your thoughts to create the reality that you want. And that can also include your physical appearance. So I'm going to share with you exactly what I did to lose weight in the past two months with not changing anything except for the way that I've been thinking. So the first thing I started doing was correcting my negative thoughts about myself. You know when you're undressing or changing and you look in the mirror and your first thought that comes to your mind is, ugh, I'm so fat or I need to lose weight or I need to do this or I hate the way my XYZ looks. Okay, as soon as you have that thought come into your mind, you have to first bring awareness to it because if you don't have awareness to your own thoughts, you can't change them. That's just the bottom line. So when a thought like that creeps up and you'll notice that as you start to bring your awareness to it, it happens pretty often. You have to immediately correct that thought and change it to how you would want to feel. Okay, so when you first, when you look in the mirror and you think, I need to lose belly fat, let's just, let's just call it that because that's my own personal thing, okay? That has been my main goal throughout trying this experiment. So as soon as I would like undress and look in the mirror and like see, you know, maybe some lower belly fat, I would think, ugh, like I need to lose weight. Stop yourself right there and say, wow, I look incredible. Wow, I am so lean. Wow, I can't believe how much weight I've lost in such a short amount of time. Like it can be anything that you're desiring to change and you just have to correct your thoughts by thinking that you've already achieved that thing. So if you're looking to lose, you know, 20 pounds and then you do, what would you be saying to yourself in the mirror when you do look at yourself? And what you wanna do is bring those thoughts into your present 
even if your three-dimensional reality doesn't match that. So every time I would look in the mirror and I, even if I wasn't having a negative thought, but let's be honest, like most times I was, I would immediately change that thought and correct it. And say it a few times because to, to project something from your mind into your reality, it has to become your, your dominant thought. So if you're thinking, wow, I need to lose weight, but wow, I look great, it's just a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's not dominant. So every single time you want to overlap that with multiple positive statements. Okay, so, mm, wow, I really wish I was leaner. Wow, I am so lean, I can't believe I can see my abs popping through, and so on. So you just want to start, one, bringing that awareness in and correcting your thoughts. That's the first thing. The second thing you wanna do is, you know, think of a, of a negative habit that you have. For me, I love sugar. I love processed sugar, candy, cookies, ice cream, all that kind of stuff. And so what I have been conditioned throughout my life and throughout my own experiences is the more that I eat those things, the more fat that I gain. And the less that I eat those things, the more lean I get. I think we can all agree that that's probably what we've been conditioned to believe. But if you change your thought patterns to say, screw that, that's not my truth. I can eat anything I want and still lose fat, then you will. So I'll be the first to admit, and maybe later on when I'm ready, I'll do a video on this, but my relationship with food is not a good one. And it's something that I am working on and I think it's going to be a pretty long process. But the first thing I've started to do with that is when I grab that piece of candy, instead of feeling that immediate guilt about eating it and thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna gain weight from eating this, I have started to change those thoughts and those assumptions and saying, hey, this is going to make me lean. No matter what I eat, it makes me feel good, it nourishes my body, and it makes me look good. And you do that every time you eat anything. Now it's kind of twofold with this one because one, your thoughts are going to change that and it's just crazy because there are so many examples out there that show you that like this person can eat and drink and smoke and do whatever, but they still look great, they still feel great, they're healthy, and that's all because of their mindset. And then the second side of that is that you'll naturally begin to start eating a little healthier just because you want to feel good, okay? So it's kind of a twofold there where, you know, every time you eat something, instead of feeling that guilt, which is further imprinting on your mind that that's going to make you gain weight, that you start to reprogram those thoughts and think, no matter what I eat, I'm always lean. No matter what I eat, I'm always losing fat. No matter what I eat, I always feel great. Okay, and that's every single time that you're eating or you feel guilty about eating something that's unhealthy or that society has told us is unhealthy because the thing is, with the law of assumption, you create your own rules. You know, we've been conditioned to think a certain way about things, but what's really cool about the law of assumption is nothing is fact which is kind of the wild part about it. And like I said, we'll get really into the law of assumption because this shit is life changing. <laughs> and then the last thing I've been doing, so this has been about, I wanna say six weeks, but it might be up to eight. So in a six to eight week stretch, um, I've lost eight pounds and I haven't changed anything in regards to my workout routine, my diet, if anything, I've been a little more relaxed about my diet. I've eaten a little more candy. Um, I'm not a big drinker, but I've drank a few times the last few weeks. And um, even still, I've lost eight pounds. And the last thing that I was doing is if I step on a scale, which isn't something that I necessarily promote to do because your weight involves so many different things and will fluctuate so many times throughout a day especially if you're a woman and you have your and you're going through your cycle i mean it's just the scale is not a determining factor but it can be a tool to use if you're using it with your thoughts the correct way so if i stepped on a scale you know say i was on the scale and 
my ultimate goal was to lose 10 pounds, right? So say it said, you know, I step on a scale and it says that I weigh 200 pounds, right? Well then I totally disregard that number and say I want it to be at, you know, 170, right? I'll just not even react to the 200 and be like, wow, that's so awesome. I love seeing that I weigh 170 pounds. And you do that every time, which is what I was doing, obviously with, with different numbers, and I would just subtract 10 pounds. So instead of weighing 180 pounds, I was like, oh, 170, that's great. Or whatever the number may be for you. And over the last six to eight weeks, I'm not at the 10 pounds yet, but I'm at eight. I've gone down eight. And then from there, I'm lowering it even more. And it's working. I haven't changed a thing about my diet. I haven't changed a thing about my exercise routine. And you guys know, like, I eat pretty healthy for the most part and I do work out, but I haven't changed those things within that time frame. So just by these three things, one, changing my thoughts about my physical appearance, changing my thoughts about the food that I consume, and changing and not reacting to the number on the scale, I've done it. I've lost, I've lost eight pounds in that time. Like it, it's crazy. And this is really the first time that I've seen success within myself, like true success using the law of assumption. And I was explaining it to my friend on the phone the other day and I'm like, you know what? I should share this because there are so many people out there that want to, you know, change the way that we look. And this doesn't have to only pertain to losing weight. This could be any physical change that you want. And I know for some of you out there that aren't very familiar with the law of assumption, this might sound crazy. You know, that's okay. I'm not here to tell you that like I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just here to kind of open up your brain and expand your mind for what's really truly possible out there because our minds are so freaking powerful. And if you see yourself looking or feeling or acting a certain way and you imprint that on your brain and you sell it to yourself it will come into fruition it will come out into your reality and it might not be overnight but it, it might be i don't know i'm not here to give you guys you know my limiting beliefs because for me yeah i feel like i can't lose 10 pounds in a day but i'm sure there are people out there that can if they don't have that limiting belief so it's really fun stuff to experiment with. I will definitely do more videos on law of assumption if that's something you guys are looking for. If you do want to learn more about this universal law, let me know in the comments below and I will certainly make more videos on it because it is something that I've become very passionate about and um, it's just, you know, we can really maneuver life to fit what we want and what our wants and desires are. And it's really cool because I feel like for myself, this is just the beginning for me. And it's just been really incredible to see such drastic results in what I believe is a pretty short amount of time, you know, for me. I'm very involved with the gym and yoga and different exercise programs and eating healthy and cooking. And, and, and for someone who has, you know, for the last decade, I've been very consumed by that. To just totally switch it up and try something new and to see these results have been astounding to me. And the more you see the results, the easier it gets to, to believe and to sell it to yourself so that the easier, again, it comes into your reality. So it's just really, really cool. So if you have any questions about how to do this or you know the law of assumption in general, please let me know in the comments below. I by no means am no expert. Like, yes, I've been researching it and learning and, and testing things out for about six months, but um, you know, there are plenty of people out there that have done this for years. So you can Google it, you can go on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's some good shit. <laughs> so I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment below, share it with someone who might get some benefits out of this and don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. And don't forget you are so limitless. You are so limitless. You know, whatever your mind can conjure up, that is what your reality is. And that's what this whole law is all about. So you are a limitless being as long as you can learn to remove those
thoughts and mindsets that we've been conditioned to believe and that we've conditioned ourselves to believe over our lives. I love you guys and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.